kind of funny how things work, isn't it? I got up a little bit earlier today because I was like, you know, I really need to plan out my day decide when and where I'm going to go out and vote because it is September 20th. It's probably important to go out there and vote if you're here in Canada. But we had ourselves some news that I was initially not going to talk about. The Canadians have signed Cody Golubev to a PTO. He's going to be on their organization during camp on Wednesday. And when I saw the notification for this pop up on my phone, I was like, okay, cool. They signed a guy that is a player whose name I honestly don't really know too much about. And that is interesting, at the very least, right? But then I went ahead and actually looked at his profile, brought up his Elite Prospects page, looked at the history of Mr. Cody Golubev over here, and he is a pretty interesting name to the point that I think he is worth talking about. So, this is Golubev over here. He's 31 years old, 6'1", 194, a right-handed defenseman. So right away, you want to take a look at that Jason Demers kind of guy. This is sort of that similar profile. If you take a look at the scouting report here on Elite Prospects, Golubev is a defenseman with good hockey sense and skating ability. He has a hard shot and plays a well-rounded game, likes to hit and be aggressive. Now, if you take a look at where he has spent his career, last year he suited up for the Baby Sens in the AHL where he had 6 points and 31 games played. His production is actually kind of weird because it's all over the place over here. The 6 points in 31 games was in the AHL, but last season he had 2 points in 24 NHL games with the Ottawa Senators and 0 points in 2 Detroit Red Wings games. I didn't even know he was suiting up for the Red Wings there too. Two seasons ago, for the same Belleville Senators team, he had 12 points in 30 games played, so a significant step up from what he did this previous season with 6 points in 31. Then you also had his 20-point year in 46 games played with the Stockton Heat, where he actually went over to the Olympic Games and he played for Team Canada over there. He has spent his entire career up and down with Columbus and Springfield and the Cleveland Monsters and the Colorado Avalanche. He played games for the in 2016-17. That's when they were absolutely terrible. So Cody Golubev has had himself a pretty diversified career. Over from the Columbus Springfield system, the Cleveland Monsters, Colorado, San Antonio, Stockton as well for the Calgary Flames and their farm team over there. Providence, the Bruins organization, Ottawa, Detroit, back over to Belleville for 2020-2021, and now he is suiting up for the Canadians as a PTO for their camp. So if he plays well enough, we'll see if he actually finds himself on the Laval Rocket one day, but if he is good enough, maybe he goes out and he plays in the Habs full-time. He has had NHL experience, so it wouldn't really be too surprising if he plays a few games in the National Hockey League for Montreal this season, assuming they like him enough to keep him around and sign him to a real contract. But again, this is a right-handed defenseman, so this is kind of that somewhat extra guy that could be on the right side because when you have Shea Weber out, you kind of need to take all precautions available to you. You have Petrie, you have Savar, those two are locks, but guys like Romanov, guys like Kulak, who do play on the right side, they're not really guaranteed to being right side guys full time. You have yourselves Weidman that you signed out of the KHL, but as we have noted this entire time with KHL signees, they're never guaranteed to being Artemi Panarin. Only Artemi Panarin and Kiro Kaprizov have had that such high level of success that it's difficult to go out there and expect that out of everybody else. And even the ones who do all right, not as good as a Panarin or a Kaprizov, still have themselves difficult lifespans to comprehend. Like, for example, Nikita Gusev, who went out there for the New Jersey Devils and was really good, but then kind of fell off right away afterwards. So for Cody Golubev, he is indeed a Montreal Canadiens PTO, a right-handed defenseman added onto this squad. We'll see how he does once training camp starts up on Wednesday, if he is good enough. Maybe he signs an AHL deal with Laval. Maybe he signs a full-time NHL contract and sees some games in the press box or whatever. But today, we have ourselves the signing. It kind of dismisses the idea that Jason Demers would actually sign a PTO here because this role is already being fulfilled by Golubev over here. So 
Talk to me in the comments what you know about Cody Golubev and what you think about this PTO signing. If you're a fan of the Blue Jackets, the Monsters, the Springfield Falcons, the Colorado Avalanche, the San Antonio Rampage, the Stockton Heat, the Providence Bruins, the Ottawa Senators, or the Belleville Senators, or of course the Red Wings too, let me know in the comments what do you think about Golubev when he was in your organizations. There are so many gosh darn teams this guy has played for, so it's going to be really interesting to see if that discussion is as diverse as I think it could be. I hope you enjoyed this video. Rolls 99. And bye.